friends of Ganova Entertainment and welcome to episode 2 or actually part 2 of my uh, tutorial how to get the poor man's track R working as I always call it or actually uh, how we really call it is uh, well it is a homemade track IR or tracking device uh, infrared tracking device um, to translate your head movements in uh, six degrees of freedom um, and it's supposed to translate into the game uh, how to make one of those um, I have to say this little gadget here um, is not necessary you can make a cap there is a ton of different ways you can do this um, you might want to just look into uh, um, now a look into the forum so just a simple Google search will yield a ton of results how to make one of these and uh, as I said this is one way to do them and you can see here even on the normal camera if I unplug that here for a second there now it's off now it's on amazing so anywho um, yeah this is uh, as I said the second part of the tutorial in my first part I showed you how to hack the PS3 uh, the PS3i which is the camera for the PS3 and uh, they are fairly cheap to come by and they are easy to take apart uh, on the IR filter part and whatnot I mean it takes a little bit of, uh, of uh, uh, patience definitely but uh, overall I think it's well worth it if you don't want to shell out a hundred and well let's just say 150 bucks for the camp for the track IR which um, let's be honest here the track IR is better in so far that track IR is uh, less resource intent, uh, uh, intensive and um, also it is a little bit more accurate with the tracking although if you know what you're doing with those uh, with the setup or in free track you can get a similar result as you will have with the tracker and there's also a third method that you can use and that's if you have a, f a halfway decent uh, webcam you can use just simply uh, face track no IR which means that only tracks your facial features uh, the eyes the nose for me it's a little bit hard face track no IR had always problems because I wear four eyes as you can see um, or I have four eyes as they call that but uh, anywho let's get to the second part in uh, terms of how to set up the free track because this is where many of you guys are stuck at the moment and uh, well, let's get uh, to the setup. So you want to open free track. Ta da da. Ta da. As my daughter would say. Um, so here is free track. Now, very, very, very important. If you have free track and you have the PS3, the first thing that you want to do is click on stream. Click on. Uh, the roll down menu here and scroll down all the way until you see 24 bits do not use anything that you see that is 32 bits because I will show you what happens just for the sake of it that's gonna happen to a lot of you guys you go on this and you hit start ta da free track access has stopped working and this will happen every time that's why you want to hit stream scroll all the way down until the 24 uh, bit start then 640 by 480 works you can go lower you um, you can go with the 322 but uh, 640 works definitely well that's what I usually use um, 640 by 480 picks 24 bits you apply click OK and now if you hit start ta now let me adjust that a little bit and here you can see now compared to the camera and then oops that was not meant to happen um, and 
this is what you see with a normal camera and then on the screen you see now what actually the PS3 uh, sees. It only sees the points from the track IR and here you can see already how the head is moving back and forth. And when you start your track IR fresh from install then your head will be all over the place and it will go all crazy and <clears throat> Okay, anyway. Um, now the reason that this is not the case with mine, I'm going to show you. Uh, that's uh, curves. Curves are your friend. So um, this is pretty much, this shows the degrees of input and what they translate to on the output. For example, let's say here I give an input of 20 degrees on roll. Roll is that one. And it's pretty much linear here. Now, if I go like, for example, go like this, then you will see it pretty much doesn't move at all anymore. Because as you can see here, a 20 degree input on the angle is a zero degree input on, uh, the, out or, uh, on the output. So now what I want to do is, I'm going to move the whole curve a little bit out. So now you're going to see this is fairly linear. Um, let's see if we can get that a little bit more extreme to the output. So now we're going to have here a five degree output approximately is already a 40 degree out uh, input sorry, is about a 40 degree output. So you're gonna see when I move my head just a little bit that it translates much more. And you will really start to see this. And I honestly, I always have this a little bit with, with a little bit of a dead zone because I don't do this one all that often. And it, this, or it can be disorienting, so that's why. I don't like doing that. But these are th those settings obviously are to your discretion. Um, what I like to do is have my pitch start pretty much linear. Uh, my, my pitch is uh, pretty much linear almost because you want to have maybe a little bit more just so you don't have to look all the way away. And then yaw, that's actually where I'm getting... Uh, Towards the end here, towards the 20 degrees, uh, I'm almost at 100 degrees of uh, movement on screen. And you're going to see that now because, for example, in a combat simulator, in, uh, let's say, DCS, when I want to look out of my window or want to look behind me, I don't want to have to actually look like this because, and I show you this here, um, when I turn my head too far, the camera cannot pick up on that anymore. See? Then... It just moves away. So to compensate for that, and so you only have to make small movements, you have the curves here a little bit more pronounced towards uh, like fairly normal. As you can see here, it's, it's fairly close to the real movement in the beginning. But as soon as I go over the 20 degrees, then you can see that I actually, now I'm looking behind me, but as you can see on my... Uh, with my, oops, with my uh, head movement, I'm nowhere near uh, this far in turn yet. Um, this game has a couple of presets in, uh, this game, wow, yeah. Free Track has a couple of presets uh, in, um, especially for, uh, um, now the profiles for FSX are good. No, I don't. Um, I changed them a little bit and then here you can also set the sensitivity for roll, pitch, yaw, uh, the smoothing. I always leave it at 100 because as you can see it works fine and that is the reason that this works so well is uh, the PSI uh, records at 120 frames per second. So that's why you don't need much smoothing there. Um, yeah, what else? I mean, the rest is really... Um, is, is self-explanatory if you just look at it. Uh, obviously here you have a uh, tracker interface. Uh, this simulates uh, the tracker. And uh, 
Um, yeah, other than that, there is really... Uh, yeah, obviously here SimConnect is what you want to use if you use this with Flight Simulator X. X. And uh, here you can um, define what you use if you use a single point cap, three points clip, three points cap, four points cap. And as I said, if you want to know, uh, if you want to know uh, how to build those, then there is a thousand and two uh, tutorials how to build these guys. And it's really, it doesn't take much and it costs maybe $20 in parts. Or even if you have uh, some old uh, IR remotes uh, laying around from your, uh, from your TV, then you can just uh, take those apart. Or even go to the local junkyard and, and just grab a couple of remotes, take the IR diodes out and uh, you're laughing. So yeah, guys, um, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I mean, free tr it's, it's a little bit of try and error. I think I showed you here the basics. Um, there is a lot of tutorials besides this one and probably better ones. See, this is nice because you even, it translates really in a three dimensional space. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys for now. I'm going to recenter this. I'm just going to fire a game up and then I'm going to show you quickly how that all looks in game. And uh, well, as I said, if you have more questions, then by all means, leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, so sorry for the delay on the second part. I guess it was almost a year to the day that I brought the first part out. Um, but it didn't seem like many people really cared for it. So I was like, yeah, well, why would I bother? But uh, I guess now that changed a little bit. I guess also because my channel grew a tiny little bit since the days. And uh, so obviously I made good on my promise and I brought you the second uh, part of it. And with that said, I'm going to see you guys again in game for a quick little look around how that actually translates in game and what you can expect. And uh, yeah. Then I will talk to you in a bit. We are here in uh, in DCS and we are flying the UH-1 and now you can actually see how my uh, head movements are translated in game. And if you want to see what kind of mission I'm flying, then you will have to watch the next video. So guys, uh, with this little demonstration here on how the free track works, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching guys, have a great day and God bless you.